Good morning and happy Memorial Day, everyone. Okay, so we're going to do Black Rifle Coffee Company because you know these guys are going to keep it 100. And it's Memorial Day. Who better than our veterans to show us some funny content and maybe something serious, too. Let's go. Are you tired of the pacification of the American male? Just too oh. afraid to defend themselves, saying shit like, violence shouldn't exist. All right, buddy, but say it to that asshole. Get to it, man! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I like it. I believe that men should enjoy the finer things in life, like badass women and great coffee. A straight whiskey. America. <laughs> about what it's like to be a police officer, but they've never walked the thin blue line. 5-0 down though. Oh my God, why didn't you arrest you? Because we didn't break the fucking law. If you're a guy that thinks a female that lifts weights looks manly, well. <laughs> I obviously appreciate a glorious beard, but just because you have one, it doesn't mean you can call a shaved man a bitch. Hey guys. Life is about responsibility. That's why we don't drink and drive. Oh, Uber's here. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to Jimmy John's. Oh. He's down the street. I love their sandwiches. So don't be such an asshole. And buy a shotgun. Remember, freedom is found in cycling. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, here we go. This, okay, so this one we just saw was how to be American, and that was American AF. Let's try honor and remember. Let's go. More than 10 decades have passed since those terrible days when we endured the mud of the Tsar, the bitter cold snow and ice of the Ardennes, the dank cellars along the Rhine, the German machine gun fire, the terrible artillery barrages, the constant fighting and killing. Back home in America, the Western Union telegraph lines hummed with those dreaded messages. The Secretary of War regrets to inform you your son, your husband, your father was killed in action, bringing tears and sadness to homes across our land. We come together today to honor and remember, my comrades. We come to remember and honor the 400,000 American soldiers who died in World War II. Tears still well in my eyes. I remember all the friends I left on the field of battle in towns and cities of Europe. Not only on Memorial Day or Veterans Day, but many times every day. Why them, not me? Mm. Somebody else takes a bullet intended for me. Lord God, may we never forget. May this nation never forget the pride of American youth who gave their lives, were wounded and captured, who went missing. Over 1,500 men are dying every day, and soon we all will have left. The Ardennes woods are silent now. Now only memories and the dead. I knew a World War II soldier. He was amazing. His son was a Vietnam vet soldier, but this World War II veteran still drove. Come visit me. My kids were really small. And he drove all the way to Texas. 
He has a lot of um, skin cancer. And um, there were some things that he needed help with. And our office wasn't always open the times that he needed help changing the bandages or cleaning different wounds that he had. So, um, of course, I would have him come over here so that I could help him. So we became friends. You could just tell that he'd been through a lot. And I think it was one Memorial Day he had come over and... I had him, and I had Jerry, and I had my husband take a picture. In between them there was two, three, four, four wars, three men. Something else. Happy Memorial Day, you guys.